guys, how you doing? This is Feet, Diamond in the Rough, with something that's slightly different. This doesn't look like diamond painting, does it? Um, yes, my Sophie and Toffee box arrived, so I was a bit excited. I uh, can't pull out a diamond painting. My diamond painting has been put away. And um, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of this, and now that I have no sunlight, now is the perfect time. I'm actually just building... Um, doing a couple of resin pieces and I will move this to the side I am just what I'm going to be doing is mixing up some colors and yakking so how are you going um, night shift is over yeehaw now on to uh, <laughs> five days off I'm not due back at work till how many colors got one two three four five six colors just add a bit more resin. Okay, so yeah, five days off now. It's uh, Friday afternoon, so that's one day off, one day left. I should have opened these up before I was talking to you. But this is what it's like, <laughs> mucking around with colours. Okay, so where are we? Hang on, grab the right tools and I might be able to do it without much issue. Okay, with this being UV resin, it is a case there I can't, um, I can't use this in my, can't work with this during the day. I have to do it late afternoon or in the evening, purely because I get too much sunlight in this room <laughs> and UV resin sets obviously in the sunshine. I don't know if I'm putting too much pigment with these or not. So these are actually glow in the dark colours. And we'll see how we go with these. So I thought I'd quickly put in a little whip and chat here. Little hello, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'm obviously back at it to... I will put this up, this video up, same time as I normally do for my short whip and chats. But with um, the fact that about two hours after this releases, I'm going live. And I'll do a live resin pour with you guys. Uh, the parts from the tr premium box. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. I am halfway through the process of... Um, Aim properly. There we are. Halfway through the process of doing the main the standard box section, which is a, a trinket box type thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm halfway through that. And these are actually, these may end up inside that trinket box. Okay. So that's it for all my colours. And hopefully I don't have too many lights here where this is setting. I should mix them all individually. There we go. This is just baking paper that I'm sitting this on. Because I'm using just a small quantity, I, uh, I'm i not keen on putting it all onto a, a platter or whatever. So baking paper, once this is set, it can just go, go in the bin without any issues. I will not show you the colours until it's set. <laughs> uh, because to really show the glow in the dark colours, obviously, I knew the, need the UV resin light. Oh dear, nearly all mixed in. Uh, night shift, very quiet. Day shift was good. Just we've got, it's really good at the moment. We've got enough staff whereby we can put people extra people are starting to do some training okay so which one i got a mermaid there i'm going to try and get her in the pink now let's see if i've got to make sure i get this camera into place for you so that you can see what i'm doing because you can hardly see the little critters on there but now I've lost sight of the mermaid. Where is she? She's hard to see. 
I think it's a mermaid. Okay. Oops. Not big quantities are required on these, which is good. Yes, Bo, I'm right here. Okay. That's one. I'm going to do a big pink shell. That's not quite in. Hang on. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, great time with, um, yeah, not much going on. Nathan's had the last two days off, so he's had Thursday and Friday off. Um, and actually, I slept. He, uh, he was quiet around the house this time, which is a good, always a bonus. Right. You will see this little bit in the, th in the, um, Here we go. In with the um, the video that I'm record the, the recording I'm doing for the um, uh, the two part epoxy resin. So you will see that coming up eventually. And where are we go in there? Might do the jellyfish in this colour. Cute little jellyfish there. But yeah, nothing much exciting happening. I've got a lot of comments I'll go through, but I'll do that when I'm actually diamond painting because I kind of need to see what I'm doing when I'm doing this. <laughs> For some strange reason, I can't read the comments. Um, I will answer. Anna actually asked how I knew that the Sophie and Toffee box had arrived, the, the Elves box arrived, how I knew that it was April's box. Um, Purely because actually it is on the box description. Uh, that's the only reason why I knew it was that one. Okay. Um, do the orange or do that moon? Okay. Do yeah. do a bit more. Okay. Silicon tools, they are magic. Um, this one here. And I think I might be able to get that shell as well with this colour. Well, that looks like a little seahorse. My eyesight, I can't tell what they are. I can see some of them, see the outlines of some of them, but some of those I can't. That's a little seahorse, and I think that one there is a dolphin. I'll just use a bit of another colour in that. Just use up what I can. Okay, how does that look? Got a couple of different colours, still not there. Um, I might grab the blue. But yeah. Nothing much going on, so yeah, how's I hope everyone's uh, excited or is going to be joining me on the uh, little to little uh, live pour. It's quite interesting to do a uh, live pour. I I love watching the fact that there's a lot of um, resin YouTubers that get it. Oh gosh, I just spilled I just spelt pigment. You can't see it. Uh, there's a lot of, you see a lot of re, um, resin stuff gets done and it's time lapse. It's because <laughs> I reckon there's a couple of reasons for that. One is so that you only see what, um, so there we go, I'm going with the blue. Uh, you only get to see what they want you to see as in if they have a mishap or anything like that. Uh, you don't see the mishap happening or the swear because, <laughs> yeah, I will agree. There are some times where it's like, I want to bite my tongue. And obviously the thinking, actually thinking about what you're doing as you're doing it and you change your mind. So at, an, at the end result of a, um, 
a resin pour is what it looks like the artists started to do and what, what they were aiming for. Because uh, I know I start doing something and it's like, oh no, well that's not working, let's do this. And you get the verbal of me doing that. So I'll just use this blue for the here. And I think that's about it. That's them all done. So now i do a couple of things. One is clean up that powder that I just dropped. Okay, so here I go. I get the uh, resin light out. Hang on. Always a painful thing to do. There's, I have so many things plugged in USB. Okay, let's see. Where is my button? These won't take long to set. There you go, see it's a nail lamp. Um, yeah, I took some, so I will share with you, I took some footage when I, it's, when I walk through, uh, on night shift, we, I walk through a lovely little garden section when I go to my car at night time. And it's all lit up pretty. So I've actually done, done some footage of that, so I'll show that to you at another stage. Um, so yeah, what have I got? I've got to talk to you guys about the comments. I'll cover the comments. Talk to you guys about uh, and show you some pictures of that. I will organise myself to get some more bow pictures. And another little while. Let's see how we go. Uh, but yeah, that's it's been pretty good. Nice, quiet. Or well, it was only two days, two nights that I did, so it was pretty quiet. Um, obviously, the cat's out of the bag. Die moon shop. <laughs> Yes, uh, Ambassador for a Dye Moon Shop products again. Um, so looking forward to it. I received notification that it is with FedEx. So what will happen is um, we, the, the, all of the ambassadors will be releasing ours um, simultaneously on YouTube or however we do it. We'll all release it on the same time. There is a date and it is the 5th of June. Okay, so yeah, they will go. I think it's the fifth of June. You will actually see the all the ambassadors will release their um, footage of uh, unboxing and all of that to show. There will be a draw. So uh, if you've seen Stone Cold Coffee Crafts, Heike, she actually does do it well. She does explain it well that what we do is we're told to do two drawings. One is. Um, so obviously the first one, if any of the other ambassadors have the same winner, instead of the same person getting two, the second person we draw out ends up being the one that gets it. So it's really cool how, how they've done that. I don't know how many ambassadors there are, but I definitely know there's four at least. Um, so yeah, how would you like to win a diamond shop, a diamond painting artist unknown at this stage? Um, and if that's any good example, I will throw this in there. If, if it's any example of what happened to my subscriber count with the last Diamond one, um, I should be hitting uh, my, I, I reckon I'll hit the thousand subscribers with that, uh, with the launch of the new artist, which means another great thing, which means I'll be uh, doing, after the, the Diamond shop has uh, been sorted, I'll be doing a drawing for my thousand subscriber giveaway if I hit the thousand. And if you are new to my channel and new to my chats, the thousand giveaway, uh, believe it or not, is actually a Diamond custom that uh, I've got ordered for myself. Um, I think it's a 60 by 80. And it is actually in a picture of Egypt. Um, and it will be in a round uh, and so yeah it will be a case of um, that will be going to a thousand subscriber which will be a totally separate separate draw um, so because I'm a time moon big die moon person okay rightio so these are set we'll just pop these out They probably need to set a little bit by themselves. 
Now, whoops. I will turn these over and I'll we'll have a look at them, see how they've come out. Yep, it was a mermaid. <laughs> okay. So, where's my tweezers? I've put my tweezers down and I can't find them. There they go. So, these will need to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, I will actually set these out in the sun. Seahorse, moon, mermaid, starfish. That's a shell. It's a fish. Another shell and a jellyfish. Oops, how about I put them where you can see them? How's that? And they are glow in the dark. I will get my little, little torch. Um, <laughs> but I'll put these out in the sun and these glow. Um, hang on, I've got too many lights. Let's see if we can get this to glow for you while I turn, reach around and turn all my lights off. That's that one. That one. Oops. How are we going? One more light. Let's see if we can get this to glow. Oh, you'll get the glow off my camera. How's that for glow in the dark? <laughs> How cool. Obviously, I've got to clean them up a bit. Um, I'll just put the one light back on and are we coming back? There we go, we're back. Um, so yeah, just a little chat while I create some uh, UV resin glow in the dark a little stuff for a shaker mold. I will say guys, thank you for watching. Pop your comments down below. Did you like how easy that was? You know, well, 16 minutes and I've talked during it, which does slow me down. Uh, very, very happy with the way these guys have turned out. They're very cutesy. Very cutesy. Hang on, let's see. So obviously I'll do a little bit of sanding around them. Seahorse. The shell. Um, so yeah, guys, stay tuned um, for uh, more resin stuff. Obviously, in about two hours' time, there will be a live pour of uh, this mould. That will be UV resin. I have to make sure my blinds are shut. So that's a little trinket box. And I will say, guys, thank you for watching. Obviously, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I do do a uh, another upload. And when I go live in a couple hours' time. Bye for now.